Oh boy, that... I'm sorry guys. First of all, for those of you who have been waiting in there, I'm not really good at streaming, to be honest with you. I have not set anything up for streaming. There was a user that was looking at my last video and said, hey, you should you should do a live stream where you have people give you their prompts and you could put it in and I thought that was a splendid idea so I said hey let me let me do that and then I sat there for almost all day trying to figure out this stream and I'm like I'm trying to set up the stream and I was a little like so I'm like a lot of you I was a little taken back but here I am so if you can hear me please let me know now if you can hear the stream just give me like a something in the chat All right, yeah, I'm going to wait till somebody says something. Uh, you can't hear. Oh, I can hear you. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, is my audio okay? Romass guy. What about you, Brown Sugar 19 uh, 1822? Cool. Okay, good. I apologize. You know I'm sitting back here and I'm already doing like the stream. And somebody says, is still waiting for me. It's a good thing you said, when is the stream going to start? It's a good thing I was monitoring the chat. So, good. Okay, good. Yeah, good. Okay, everybody's good. Thank goodness. Uh, let me put this microphone a little closer. So, <laughs> this is Dolly 2. And uh, Dolly. And tonight, I uh, just decided to put a stream up. Uh, just to let you guys know for the record, my eyesight is horrible. Last year, I lost about 60% of my eyesight. I can still see, but it takes me a long time to read stuff. That's why I use a text-to-speech generator. So in the process, you might hear me. Uh, look at that. I was actually showing you guys what I did with this, but that got messed up. Uh, but that's what I did first to, uh, to set it off. Uh, here you go. Text to speech. Let's see if it works. 35 mm macro shot of a bed bug on human skin. Studio lighting. All right, good. Did you hear that text to speech? Is that okay? Is it too loud? Just because I can't read everybody's or whoever comes in here's prompts. Was that too loud? Or should I lower it? If anybody can hear me. Okay, good. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, so the first thing I did was a 35 millimeter macro shot of a bed bug on human skin studio lighting. And this is what I got. And I got to say, this is amazing. Computer generated, AI generated. This one looks a little wonky, but it looks good still. This one right here looks a little mysterious, but it looks good. This one right here is pretty crazy. It made the human hair look nice. Actually put human skin and it put a bed bug directly on it. Now I'm wondering if I said human skin with a bed bug on it with blood in it. Would it have done blood? Because you know there's a lot of restrictions to doll E. So just for the record, just because I had to start this stream all messed up. What's up everybody? My name is Michael Hurdle from the Michael Hurdle Production Studio. Helping you render your imagination when it comes to video production, 3D animation, and visual effects on a small or no budget at all. And now AI art creation is kind of nuts out there. So today in this stream, uh, please bear with me. I'm very rusty. Hopefully if I do more streams, I'll get better. But today will be where I take anybody who's in the stream you type in your prompt in the in the chat and if it's acceptable according to the terms and the conditions of Dolly, e, then I will cut and paste it in and see what we get out of it uh, I had eight credits before but I was allowed to buy some more I bought fifteen dollars worth of credits so today we have a hundred and twenty two credits to test out whatever we need to test out so it's fifteen dollars but I think it was worth it and we're not going to blow through all the credits, but I'm going to make sure that you guys in the chat put your prompt. So if anybody's in the chat, like Roll Mask Guy, um, go ahead, put your prompt. Tell me what you want, and I'll cut and paste it if I can. Hopefully, yep, I can cut and paste. Let me make sure. Yep, I can cut and paste. And I'll just put it right in here if anybody can hear me. So, so let me just keep moving on. I'll periodically look at the chat, but um, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for people to look and see what their prompts are and put their prompts in while we're waiting for people oh here we go do we have one right now okay here's a prompt let's copy it all right a watercolor painting of the moon doing a backflip underwater that's not bad 
Let's see what that one gives us. Okay, here we go. Uh, let, let's see who sent this one. I'm going to have to cut because I can't see too well. Uncle Feely Savage. That's you, Uncle Feely Savage. <laughs> so let's see what your prompt says. Let's generate that. You ready? Brah, brah, brah. Let's go. Please feel free to put your prompts in there, and I'll just cut and paste it in there. I got 122 credits, so in this stream, if we use up a good amount of it, at least we'll make some really great art, hopefully. Because let's be real. We get some, we get some uh, wonky type of artwork. So... What you think about this one? Let's look at all of them right here. So let's go back again and I'm going to copy and paste that to see what it says here. A watercolor painting of the moon doing a backflip underwater. Of the moon doing a backflip underwater. So this is what it gave you. Uh, let's go to let's go to image number two. I'm, I, I'm kind of getting it but not getting it. It's a good prompt. It, you can see what it gives you. And there you go. And if any of you who... Uh, Put your prompt out. <laughs> that was funny, right, Uncle? <laughs> uh oh, let's have we have we have another prompt. Row master guy. I mean row mask guy. Alright, let's uh let's do it again. Let me copy his prompt real quick. Uh copy. A muscular man made out of obsidian in a Jojo pose from Jojo Bizarre Adventure in front of a stone wall with light rays shining on it in a very, 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 very photorealistic <laughs> 4K cinematic. <laughs> All right, yo. All right, as long as it is, as long as it's not against their terms of agreement, because they will suspend my or they terminate my accounts in a snap. So I gotta watch what we say. So I gotta be like my own moderator. But this one sounds good. Let's go. And Dolly did say that they can use long prompts. Oh, let's see what it says. Okay, it's thinking. All right, let's see. It's thinking. It's doing its thing. But while while this is thinking, you guys should uh, start generating your prompts. Let me see what's going on here. Did something happen here? Let me just go back to the beginning again. Not too sure what it's doing here. Wonder if I should refresh the page. Alright, let me give it a few minutes. Let me hit generate, see where it takes us. Okay, I guess I didn't hit generate. Alright, let's see what it gives us. So anybody who's looking at the chat or anybody who joins into the chat, just put your prompt in there. Type it out. And the best thing about it is if anybody looks at the stream later on, they can copy and paste your prompt. <laughs> All right. So let me just copy this again so I can hear what it says. A muscular man made out of obsidian in a Jojo pose from Jojo Bizarre Adventure in front of a stone wall with light rays shining on it in a very, 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 very photorealism 4K cinematic. Okay. All right. So that's what we get here made it obsidian now if you want any of these images just let me know and I'll uh, I'll send them to you or I'll just email it to you if you want and just I'll just send it to you for free I don't care this is not I didn't make these images Dolly did do we have any more prompts in here let's see uh, uh, let's see what this is okay hold on, let's do it again a stick man in front of a stone wall photorealism 4k cinematic all right, so we got that prompt guy right here. Now remember, guys, we're gonna we can always go back after we're finished. We're gonna review all these prompts that we made. Um, this one, I've, this is the one, the bed bug that I put in here. So let's go back here to the beginning, and I'm gonna copy and paste that in today. A stick man in front of a stone wall, photorealism, 4K. All right, cinematic. Let's see what we get out of that. All right, so let's let's spend some prompts today. Currently, we've already used a few. I have 120 more prompts that we can do for the $15. So if you have any prompts, or you know anybody who wants to have any prompts, oh, this is cool. Oh, you skipped yours? Well, I'm sorry. Let me see. I'll, I'll, let me go back again. I'm sorry, whoever. Let me see. A uh, muscular man. I already did that one. A watercolor painting of a moon. I think I did that one. Uh, which one did I skip? If I skipped yours, let me know. I'll put it back. I didn't see it. Uh, let's see. I'm looking at the chat just in case. Uh, prompt. Um, y you can put pictures. I didn't know you could put pictures. Mushroom and penguin. What uh, is that? The one I skipped. Mushroom and penguin. I will send again. Okay, great, great, great. I don't know how how. I really don't know how much the latency is. Hopefully, I can talk to you guys kind of live without it. But uh, let's see what we have here. A stick man in front of a stone wall. Photorealism. 4K cinematic. 
So this is what we get from that prompt. Pretty decent. I like that. I like how the way they made the wall. The wall looks really nice. Stickman looks pretty good. I don't know what that. I don't know what this is behind him, uh, but that looks pretty decent. This looks pretty decent too. It looks like Stickman on a beach just chilling. So that's what we get from that prompt right there. Let's go through him again, just in case you want to see him again. So let's see what this is. A water. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, I saw that one. I thought I skipped it. Like I said, I apologize. My sight. I lost sixty percent of my sight last year. A watermelon sport car with a with a city view. All right, let's do that one. I think I'm gonna get rid of the periods. I don't think it needs any periods. Okay, good. I was looking at it. Uh, I'm just going to call you uncle. Yeah, it, it works well with emojis. That's correct. Oh, that's so cool. I love this one. Let's collect. Let's select the prompt and see which one this one was. A watermelon sport car with a with a city view. A watermelon sports. Oh, that's like, okay. And it didn't even, even, okay. Let's see what they are. Oh, do the emoji. You know, funny thing about it is I don't know how to do the emojis, Uncle. It's a mushroom and a penguin. I, I don't even know how to do that. Call me old, old man hurdle. I don't know. <laughs> to, uh, teach me and I'll do it. As long as we're not going against uh, Dolly's terms of agreements. That's nice. I like this one. I really, really like this one. And it stays in a library, too. So if any of you would like any of the photos that you that you prompt, just let me know. I'll send it to you. Michael at saltygamers.com. That is my email. Uh, let me see if I can put that in a chat. Because I'm not too sure how I can chat with people in this chat room. Forgive me. Uh, let me see. Prince. Nope, nope, nope. Let me see if I can go over to my YouTube and chat with people directly. I'll put my email address in it. Um, Michael at saltygamers.com. And you send me an email and tell me which prompt was yours and I'll just send you all the photos if you want just the way they are and then you can do whatever you want with them so I'm, I'm all over the place I'm sorry I'm just trying to get used to this um, copy and paste the funny thing about it is it's not allowing me to copy and oh let me see uh, nope in this chat let me go back to the YouTube chat probably it'll let me copy and paste from there nope hold up I'm trying sorry I'm trying Hold on, let's see. Uncle Feely Savage. No, it didn't let me copy it. I, I don't know. Okay, can it do emojis? Because, like I said before, this is probably my second video making, uh, messing around with Dolly. So I like to op I like to look at this stream as an open think tank for anybody who has any information that I may not know. Um, but it, it, find out if you can do emojis, because if you can, I will definitely copy and paste. But it's, it, from my chat box and even the YouTube chat box is not allowing me to copy and paste it. Probably I'm doing... So oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. All right. Copy. I just saw it. Select that. So let's see if it'll let me paste that in. Oh, look. Look at that. Hey, uncle. Look at that, bro. Um, look at that. I, I, I copied and pasted what you put in the chat. So let's hit... Gen I don't know what this means. Mushroom and penguin. Let's let's just see if it recognizes emojis. I didn't even know it did emojis, to be honest with you. I have another one here from Ro Mask Guy. I'm going to copy that real quick while we wait for that one. You're going to hear it copy in the, in the uh, Texas speech. Music festival inside a crystal ball. Extreme light show. 4K. High quality. Photorealism cinematic nice nice okay so now uh look at that wow a mushroom and a mushroom and a penguin and this is what you get i don't it shows you a penguin here that looks pretty decent i don't see anything mushroom related unless you can help me out where it says uh, uh let me look at the chat i i've done before okay good i'm glad to l i'm glad to know didn't know you could paste emojis in there that's a really good thing so if any of you have any prompts or any emojis that's fr that's not against their terms of agreement all right <laughs> so this is what we got from the emoji now let's paste the other one let's go back to the other one that um who sent that to me um i'll just paste it i'll just go look later Let's just do it so we can hear what it was again. Music festival inside a crystal ball. Extreme light show. 4K. High quality. Photorealism. Cinematic. All right, let's see. Let's see what that one looks like. Row mask guy. Let's see what yours look like right there. Like I said, just keep... If you have anybody, if you know anyone who wants to uh, 
have any really good prompts? Ooh, damn. You know how they say two heads is better than one? Three, four heads is better than one because, I mean, I wouldn't have thought about these things. Look at this one here. This is nice. Very nice. The fingers can have a little bit more work done on it or whatever, but that still looks good from what you put in that prompt. This one looks good, too. I don't know what kind of hand this is. It looks kind of evil opened up, but it looks really good. For AI art, this one, I would say, has to be the best because you can just put some hands there, but it just made this right here, so that's a good thing. Uh, okay, let me see. I see another prompt in here. What is what you okay? Uh, let me just do that one more time. In the depths of nature, a succulent plant rises, and with the material night, rainbow roses bloom. 4K, high quality, photorealism, cinematic. All right, let's go for that one. I like this one. Keep them coming, guys. If you know anybody who's looking, who's, who's interested in this, uh, shoot them a share and let them see this so they can, you know, put their own prompts in there too as well. Uh, tonight, I just want you guys to use your prompts, and I'm really appreciative of you guys being here So, because it, 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 I can't think of every prompt, and sometimes my mind works so much different than yours, but look at this. This is nice. Let me hear this again. In the depths of nature, a succulent plant rises, and with the material night, Rainbow roses bloom. That, that is beautiful. Photorealism. That is beautiful. Cinematic. That is beautiful. This looks really nice. Wow. And they gave you a bunch of different renditions. So we have this right here. That looks pretty decent. Very good. That's a that's a good prompt. Uh, I have a few prompts here while we wait for uh, more people to come in. Um, here's another prompt that I had earlier that I wrote down. Tiny nanobots working on DNA strands and cells inside the human body macro detailed let's see how that one sounds I had to put so aside some let's see okay great romance guy gave me another one let me copy that one real quick okay so this is supposed to be the nanobots let me just copy his real quick hold up red sun colliding with a lava planet 4k high quality photorealism cinematic okay so this one is the one with the tiny nanobots working on a human DNA strand. That looks like a bad DNA. They're not doing too much a good job on that one. That one is okay. I'm not really seeing any nanobots doing anything as far as working. Now this one right here, I can definitely say these strands of DNA not looking too healthy, but I get what they're coming from. They, 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 this one right here looks like you're dead. The nanobots, they went in and destroyed you, bro. Because those, those strands of DNA is not looking pretty. <laughs> so let's go back and let's put in... Uh, Let's put in romance guy. Uh, uh, let, let me just put a record. Okay, yeah. Let's just hit a generate real quick. Okay, good. So, f for those of you in the chat, I'm looking back and forth. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Giving me some good prompts. Because these prompts are pretty decent. So this one is, I can't see that far, and I don't even want to bother, so let me copy and paste again. Red sun colliding with a lava planet 4K. High quality. Photorealism. Cinematic. Yeah, now that looks, that looks scary. Uh, I gotta lie to you, that looks like the end of everything. There's nobody gonna walk out of this one. Very good job, very good job. If you guys have any more prompts, just let me know, okay guys? I'm willing to try some more prompts, and uh, while I'm waiting... If you guys have any prompt ideas, oh, we're going to go to Pinterest real soon and do some stuff with that. But we're going to go to Dolly's uh, site and see what they have here, their Instagram. And look how many prompts is here. And let's just see what prompts are used for these. A photo of a sloth in a scuba diving mask exploring the wonders under the sea. Digital art number doll. Wow. These are all from Dolly or AI creation. Now let's go back one time. While you guys are waiting to think about your prompts and stuff like that, uh, put them in the comment section and I'll cut and paste them in there and see what we get. See if we can make some really good artwork tonight. Well, not us. <laughs> I can't even lie to you. Not us. See if da if we can help Dolly make some great artwork. Some people said in the past that art is over, that art is dead. I don't believe that. I believe that you need a, a human interface to type in these prompts so 
yeah, the art is not dead because it's just giving you a bunch of random images. Now, there's a lot of touching up you can do, but it's going to cost you some points or some credits. So I'm just looking through over here, just getting familiar, seeing if there's anything that I can copy and paste and see if it gives it to me. Uh, look at this one. We, I think we could spend a credit on this one. Let's see what this one's, if it gives us the prompt. A photo of a sleeping orange tabby cat number doll. Number okay, not Dolly. I said I was like, what's number doll? So let's copy and paste this prompt real quick. If you guys are still in the chat, now let me know. So instead of putting a photo of a sleeping orange, what tabby cat? You know, okay, to take your time. If you're still typing out your prompts, because when I went on to the site while I before I type this in, let me just show you. Looking at the chat. Um, it says you can use very long prompts. I was looking at this uh, PDF, which will be in the description. If you guys are waiting for your Dolly access, definitely, definitely go through this book in its entirety. I can assure you, once you understand everything in this book, then you're not going to waste all your prompts. Okay, wait a minute. Let's see if there's any more prompts in here. Uh, let me see. This music festival is this a prompt romance guy? Uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to copy, because once again, I said I'm blind. So here, part one: this music festival takes place inside a massive, shimmering crystal ball. Oh yeah. The light show is extreme. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Well, now let me just type in this one right here before I lose it. Instead of a tabby cat, how about we put a dirty rat? How about? Rats. Let's put a dirty rat and see where that gets us before we put yours in row mask guy. And see what it gives us. I just took someone else's prompt and just changed a few wording and see what it gave me. Because on their Instagram Oh wow. Oh wow. Alright, and on Instagram it gave us this kitty. But if we go here, this is not bad. Not bad at all. But I said a dirty rat. That that rat looks pretty clean to me. Did I mess something up? Let me go back and see what I typed in. Because like I said, I can't see. Sleeping. Oh, that's where it is. A sleeping orange dirty rat. That's okay. Eh, I didn't read. But you know what? Hey, that was a mistake. But that's a pretty mistake. For, for those of you who like orange rats, there you go. This one right here, he is laid out, stretched up real good. So on a sweater on your couch you just chilling and he's like oh hi look at my new brand new arms so that's cool <laughs> uh let's paste yours in there i like this one uh so here's one let me just get rid of that one. Oh, oh wait a minute romance guy was i supposed to leave was i supposed to leave that in there so if you guys are putting prompts into the comment section um, put those quotation marks around it so I'll know exactly where the prompt starts and where the prompt ends. And I'll just cut around that. Um, okay, good. So, okay, good. This music festival. Oh, let's just do that one. And if that one was not the one. Oh, that one was part one. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Tell me if I did anything wrong. If I put anything wrong in there, just let me know. <clears throat> and then um, I'll just re-put it in there. I just want to see what you guys' ideas are. Whoa, this is nice. Of course, number two is what I'm feeling. That looks dope. That reminds me of Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus when I was a kid. And they used to take those dirt bikes and ride around in circles. Two, three people in there and none of them collided. I was like, ow. Like my sister. Like like uh, Cardi B. Ow. So here you go with this result here. Now, let me just go back because I wasn't really paying attention because I was rambling. So let's hear what this is. This music festival takes place inside a massive, shimmering crystal ball. Nice. The light show is extreme. Nice. That's nice right there. All right, good. I'm glad. Here's another one in here. Let's uh, go back down. Let's see if this is it. Resolution and high quality audio create a photorealistic, cinematic experience that is truly atmospheric. All right. I'm trying to look at the I'm trying to look at the chat and do this at the same time. Uh, romance guy said add them both in there. Okay, uh, let me go back to the first one. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Part two, a bright part one. Oh, there's two of them. Sorry. So here's part one. I'll just put it like that. But look, this is nice. 
Let me not, let me not get besides myself. I'll do one at a time so it won't confuse me or the chat. Resolution and high quality audio create a photorealistic cinematic experience that is truly atmospheric. That's crazy. So it just made some speakers. It gave you in its eyes. This is what that thought it was. Atmospheric speaker. It just showed you some speaker knobs, which is pretty decent. I'm noticing that when it comes to words, they're not really good with writing words. Just give you characters, almost like hieroglyphics. But this is what you got from that prompt. So let me go back to the top real quick and copy this one. So here, part one, this music festival takes place inside a massive, just like that. <laughs> crystal ball. I'm going to put it just like that. Let me get rid of this. Extreme. Put a, so let me just put a, this right here and make it better. All right, and let's generate that. Now, while it's doing that, let's check my credits real quick and see if, for how far we are. We got 110, so we're good. Let me see if I missed anything. And please, if I missed any of your prompts, please let me know and I'll just uh, go back to it because I can scroll up and down. Resolution of high speed, photorealistic experience. I'm looking at the comments. Bro, you have skipped my whole. <laughs> so, oh, so, you know what? Let's only talk to Uncle. Let's see. I got to see his name. He said I skipped his five times. No way. Uncle Feely Savage. Okay, Uncle Feely Savage. I'm going back up and I'm going to look at every one of yours that I missed. And I'm going to go back to it. So let's just look at Uncle Feely Savage real quick. So give me a minute. Okay, one. That's his prompt. All right, he gave me the, the emoji. Okay, let me see what else he got. You skipped me. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm looking at it right now. And then he goes down, okay, uh, you can, okay, I'm still looking, sorry about that, while you guys are doing that, let me just uh, look over here, I'm just looking at all his, okay, he gave me that one, Let me see what this one says. My is a little big. Oh, yours my is that what you it was that what you were asking me, Uncle? Let me scroll down some more, please. Blah blah blah. Keep going. Sorry about this. A live stream. So chat. I'm live stream, so it can't be like perfect. All right, Uncle. I want you to put your latest. I want you to put your latest prompt in there, and I'm gonna do five i skipped you five times uncle i'm gonna put five of your prompts there so i'm not gonna put anybody's prompts except for uncle's prompts first i'm gonna put five of them so go ahead uncle do your thing i'm not putting any more prompts in there until i see your prompts all right so while you um putting your prompts or you cutting and pasting it back in there i apologize about that let me go back to where am i i'm all over the place i'm sorry that's it right there. Nope. All right, let's go back to the Instagram. As soon as I see Uncle's posts, Uncle's prompts, I'm going to just paste it in there. So I apologize for that. Let me go down a little bit. Keep looking. Now, you say you you sent. You sent. Wh where did you send it to? Because I'm looking here. And I don't really see anything in the chat. So am I sending? Are you sending it to a different chat? Let me look over here real quick. I'm looking at another chat. Uh, it's the same copy as this one. Let me make sure it works fine. The emojis. While you're doing that, I'm just going to look over here real quick, see if there's anything I missed. Because like I said, my eyesight is not the best. That's why they call me Old Man Hurdle. But while we're waiting, let's just see if we can um, see if there's any more prompts that we can put in there. I'm just going to minimize this real quick. I'm working with two different screens here, so I apologize. But... Let's see if there's any prompts that we can cut and paste. Oh, it says in chat. I'm looking. Did something happen? It's a bumble. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's a bumblebee emoji. Funny thing about it is I don't see that. I'm, I, I'm using open broadcast software, and, I, and they have a little chat box popped up on the side. So I'm using that. It's a bumblebee emoji, then a bagel emoji. Okay, so the funny thing about it is I don't see any emojis in this chat. Let me see. Now I'm just, o only thing I'm looking for right now is emojis. I don't see any bumblebees and I don't see any bagels. Let me look inside the web browser chat. 
see if I get lucky in there because I might you might not see it in that chat but I could see it in another chat no penguin and mushroom that's the emojis I don't see it sorry about that bro I don't know what's going on can somebody help him out a little bit I I don't see can you send me like an emoji send send can you put uh, like a bagel emoji in the chat and send it and see if I get it or let me see here I, I wish there was some emojis that I can use here but there's none All right, all right. All right, let's try again. Emojis. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me for that. All right, so let's move on for a little bit. While, while we're waiting for, do me a favor. Um, type in the actual prompt that you want in the chat, and I'll see if I can cut and paste it and just put the word emoji in it. While you do that, all right, let's see. Right above this comment. Oh, psh. oh, it says message restricted. Let's see why. It's not even give me an option. It says message restricted. But it says, uh, this one says roll mask guy. So that's what it's doing is restricted messages. I, I wonder why it's doing that. Let's see. No, I can't see messages. I can't see that in here for some strange reason. I guess if you try to paste an emoji, it stops it. Now let me go over to the browser and see if it does the same thing. Okay. All right, let me just keep going so cuz we doing a live stream. Scary alien on rollerblades going to beach. Um sorry about that. I guess the emojis is not working in the chat, but um do not despair. I will s hopefully we'll be doing this again. And uh hopefully you can you can write it out or you can direct message me in somehow Discord or something and I can see if I can cut and paste from there. You guys can give me some advice and I'll take it to be honest with you. Now let me go back to my chat real quick. I'm sorry about that. Uncle, my apologies. Um Alright, we'll just do word prompts. Okay, so this one is scary alien or rollerblades going to the beach. <laughs> this one's cute. That doesn't look scary. That one looks default. Yes, all of you. If I'm sorry, um, we were waiting for we were waiting for Uncle to throw some prompts in there. But if you guys want, you can throw your prompts. We let's see how much more prompts we have left over after we look at this beautiful, scary alien. <laughs> this is cool. It's a good idea. And if anybody wants any of their prompts, just email me and tell me which prompt was yours, and I'll just send them to you in an email, so you can have them. Now, I'm going to go back here real quick and look at what we have. Uh, we have about 108 prompts left over. All right, we have another one coming from Uncle. Let's see what he's saying. A Yeti drinking Bobati cartoon. All right, let's do that. All right, Roll Master. Or, I mean, Roll Mask Guy, I'm sorry. <laughs> we got yours coming up next. Let's just see what um, Uncle has. A Yeti drinking boba tea. <laughs> That's a good one, Uncle. That's a good one. A Yeti drinking boba tea. Okay. That's a cartoon. All right. I don't know what that orange thing is here. Is that a straw? Or, you know, it kind of got it right with that one. This one here, you could say is boba tea. I mean, it's the same thing. Same with Yeti drinking is a cartoon. This one right here looks like almost like a hand like hand drawn with a paintbrush or even if you took like chalk and wrote on a chalkboard at school so this one looks pretty decent now if you guys like me having prompt prompt uh, stump because I'm looking through the prompts and I'm like man I'm trying to figure out some good prompts and it's so hard that's why we should look through some other people's prompts and see what they have let me see what this prompt says. Now keep your prompts coming. If you have a prompt that you want to see what it is. Baggage. What? Oh, I think we have another one from Romance Guy. Let's see if this is a new one. A star with bright colors and patterns constantly shifting and moving. The 4K resolution and high quality to create a photorealistic, 
cinematic experience that is truly atmospheric. All right, that sounds allowable. <laughs> I had to make sure to hear it first because I didn't want to put nothing crazy in here. I actually like using Dali, and I'm, I gotta be really careful putting the wrong prompts because I the other day I put a sexy robot taking a posing for a photo, and they told me I couldn't do that, and I was shocked. I was like, "What? I didn't say anything new to It's a robot, but all right, Uncle, let's see what you got. All right, so let's see, Uncle, you up next? Let's see what this is again. I, I forgot what this one is. A star with bright colors and patterns constantly shifting and moving. The 4K resolution and high quality to create a photorealistic, cinematic experience that is truly atmospheric. Sometimes, you know, it's a hit or miss. It looks good. Is it usable? Is it, for, is it what you want it for? It depends on the artist. So, let's go to, um... Let's go to Uncle. Let's see what Uncle got. Queen Elizabeth in Apex Legends. All right, I'm gonna put it in just like how you put it in there. I'm gonna put it in just like how you gave it to me. Oh, that's not the one. <laughs> what the hell? It says, "Oh, Uncle." It says, "Message restricted," or no, retracted. I'm sorry. It says, "Message retracted." So I don't know why it's saying that. Okay, let's see what it says. The Queen. Is this the same one you sent me? Let's see. The Queen of England in Apex Legends. Yeah, I think this is it. So the Queen... Don't do that. No, don't do what? I didn't do nothing. I just... I'm just... I'm just cutting paste and prompts. That's crazy, though. Oh, okay. That's what it says. Forgive me. I'm pretty rusty and kind of new to streaming on YouTube. Haven't streamed in probably, like, over 10 years. So this is actually the first time I'm really streaming. So if you guys like this kind of video, let me know. Or if you like me to just do the video, upload it, and then just call it an evening, just let me know. But this is Queen Elizabeth right here. Uh, well, supposed to be Queen Elizabeth. So there's no, the writing on the shirt or on her garment is not really... No, you don't understand it, but I guess you can always change that in Photoshop. This lady right here. I mean, none of them look like Queen Elizabeth. Probably when she was like 300 years younger. But there you go. Let's see if we have anything else in the chat. Uh, okay, let's see if it looks better without the word, without the name Queen Elizabeth. Let's go back. And what do you want me to put there then? Let's see what you put here. Let me look through the chat. I'm just looking through the chat, guys, just in case you're wondering. The Queen of England in Apex Legends. Let's put that one. Let's put that one. The Queen. Alright. Let's see what this one says. Alright, that's cool. You can send it, um, Romance Guy. Yeah, you can send it in two parts if you want. Just do me a favor. Just put the quotation marks at the end so I'll know what... Yeah, just like that. So I can know where to start the prompts. So this one says, Queen of England in Apex Legend. So there you go. Now, I don't really know what Apex Legend is. I think that's a game. If I'm correct, I never played it or I've never really been a part of it. But if this looks like Apex Legend or something similar to it, you let me know. So, Because I don't really know what the game is. But that's Queen Queen of England in Apex Legend. What does that say? The Queen of England in Apex Legends. Alright, so that was the last one. Let's see what the prompts are now. If you want me to put a prompt, just put the quotation mark in the front and the back of it so I'll know where you want. Because if you just ask me a regular general question, I might accidentally copy and paste that thinking that it's just a general question. So I see one from Roe Mask Guy. Let's see what uh, what he has. An old hag with a gaunt. Sunken face leers through the foggy swampland. A hut built into the top of a tree looms in the background. Well, um, well, Uncle, here's what you could do. Send me a prompt, the same prompt again, and try something different. Add a few more elements to it, like photorealism or 35 millimeter. Let me give you a perfect example after I look at this one right here. Uh, let's see what this one is while we look at it. An old hag with a gaunt, sunken face leers through the foggy swampland. A hut built into the top of a tree looms in the background. 
<laughs> there you go. Wow. This is what it created for you with that prompt right there. Now, I'm kind of... Uh, the, the, the style that it went with. It went with this... I don't know what to call this. Like an oil painting? Or more like a hand drawn with a pencil? Something like that. Or just pencil painting? This one right here looks a little bit like you used a paintbrush. But it looks good. So, yeah. If you have any prompts and it's long... Just put the brackets over it. And, um, all right. So the next one is Roman. If I skip yours, just let me know, okay? So let's look. Let's go a little bit further down on my road. So I'm going to go to part two and see where part two takes us. Let me get that real quick. Bright colors and patterns constantly shifting and moving. The 4K resolution and high quality to create a photorealistic, cinematic experience that is truly atmospheric. All right. That, that sounds good. Let's do that prompt real quick. I'm still looking at you, Ro Mask Guy and Uncle. I still got you. Uh, let me see what this says here. Um, Uncle, this last prompt that you said, is it... Oh, yeah, okay. I get it. Okay. So this is... um. Let's see what this one is, because I was reading and going back and forth, so I don't really know what you prompted, so I'll have to read it again. Bright colors and patterns constantly shifting and moving. The 4K resolution and high quality to create a photorealistic cinematic experience that is truly atmospheric what do you guys think about that looks like uh, looks like I don't even know what kind of painting this looks like but this is the prompt it gave you for that one let's go to the next prompt where's the next prompt I had here I want to confuse myself Ooh, yeah it's the same prompt sorry um, bright colors alright let's see what uncle has here the pineapple lord running away from a carrot man. <laughs> realistic. <laughs> I like that one. The pineapple lord. This better give us some good ones. The pineapple lord running away. I like that one. I really hope it gives us something really nice looking. Because sometimes you, 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 you do a, a prompt and it looks ugly. Alright, let's see what it is. Let's read it again so I can uh, know what it is. The pineapple lord running away from a carrot man. Photorealistic. <laughs> this looks robot chickeny. <laughs> this looks funny as hell. <laughs> looks funny. It's a carrot with a pineapple top and a man's running. What the? What? Look, look at the image it gave us. It gave us these, right? And then the fourth image, it gave us this. Now remember, it gives us four images that we can create variations from. So. Uh, I don't know. We have tons of images here that we messing around with, and we can always go back and create variations from that one. But this one right here, I'm confused because it's not really giving us anything, and like like what we asked for. I, I don't know. I don't know if I should just say you know send to them and say image is not matching what it's supposed to, just because you know you wait you waste the credit. So let's just do that and see what it says, just to do a report because they want the feedback too as well. So that's what you got, Uncle. Now let's go to uh, let's go to Rebel Mask Guy and see what he says. Future, green, telepathic, technology, bright, dream. The 4K resolution and high quality to create a photorealistic, cinematic experience that is truly atmospheric. I wonder what it could make. All right, let's go for that one. If the long, if you guys have long prompts, let's try it because realistically we're just testing this out and giving it data and feeding it data and I'm assuming that every time we put these type of data is in there it 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 learns all right so let's see what we've gotten from this image right here future green telepathic technology bright dream the 4k resolution and high quality to create a photorealistic cinematic experience that is truly atmospheric I wonder what it could make. I, I'm looking at this one right here with this prompt, and I don't think that it, it gave us what we put in there, but it didn't really. I guess it gave us, it gave us the exact prompt that we put in there, but it just gave us something that. This one right here, I don't even know what this is. This looks like Tron exploding, like Tron, and you're like. Pfft. So that could be. <laughs> so that's what you got from that prompt uncle let's see what else we got we i think we got uncle got another one let's see what this one says a bowl of cereal that is a wormhole <coughs> to a farmhouse in the future 8k photo okay that one sounds good yes please keep the prompts coming 
Uh, I just I think I'll spend off a couple of the prompts in here probably till I get to like 50 so I can have some to mess around with later but let's see how much prompts I have left over before we continue 99 that's not bad all right so wait a minute I, once again I was reading so I forgot what prompt this was a bowl of cereal that is a wormhole to a farmhouse in the future 8k photo now my question is it just gave us a bowl of cereal with O's so it gave us like a bowl of cereal with O's but it didn't give us what we were looking for for a farmhouse it didn't put anything farm related it didn't put a house it didn't even put anything futuristic I mean if you look at it you could have taken this bowl of cereal and and merged it with like one of these like put the cereal here yeah that would have looked like and then put a farmhouse next to it so you see with doll E you can do a hit or miss real quick and you would not even know um, row mask guy it says message retracted so I don't know if you were trying to put something up there uh, if you if you have any suggestions you let me know and I'll and I'll put them up there let me I have one right here that I did earlier that I copied I said let me get this ready for the stream so let's listen to the one I put a woman crying like Viola Davis from the movie fences award-winning hyper realistic details close up all right, so a woman crying like Viola Daly, like Viola Davis from the movie Fence, award-winning hyper-realistic close-up. Now, I forgot what I put more to this. So, oh no, yeah, that's right. Okay, I did not see the rest of this. I have to do the whole thing. I'm sorry, because uh, man, I wasn't finished yet. Let's do it again. A woman crying like Viola Davis from the movie Fences, award-winning hyper-realistic details, close-up, low angle. Bokeh, detailed, studio lighting, real tears, extra nose mucus, Time magazine cover. <laughs> now come on, son. That is what you call a mother effing dope ass prompt. Let's see what it generates. Because we already know that Viola. Oh, what? 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 Let's see what this says. It looks like this request may not follow our content policy. Ah, probably. Now, this is a good sign because what's what is it here that is not following the policy? Is it is it Viola Davis? Is it because I used her name? But then when I went to the book, the book said that it's okay to sound like or look like or do something like that. So it's like you can say, let's see if I see it here. And this is lighting, creative. Let's see if I saw right. You know, for film, there was one of them that says look like or or in the style of. So I'm thinking you can use people's name like Viola Davis. So let's let's investigate what a woman crying like Viola Davis from the movie. Okay, so that's cool. Realistic close up, low angle bokeh, detail studio lighting, right? Uh, real tears. Now I'm wondering if it's the real tears extra mucus so let's let's get rid of the real tears and extra mucus real tears extra nose mucus right <laughs> I don't know I don't know if it's the extra nose mucus but we'll break it down and hopefully Dolly does not terminate me because I don't want you know I don't want them to because once you see this a few times they're gonna be like didn't we tell your ass and then be like, get the hell out of here. Then that's something that. So we're going to generate one more time. And if it says that, then I'm thinking I'm just going to cut out of that one. Let's see what it says. What? Okay, okay. So we took out the nose mucus. Okay, so is it woman crying? How about we put woman laughing? No, no. A woman. Right? And we'll just put from the movie. Let's take out Viola Davis's name. Probably that's what's throwing it off. A woman, oh God, now my whole prompt is messed up. A woman smile. Oh my God, they threw me off with this one. Hold up. A woman smiling for, oh God. <laughs> Close up. All right, this does not seem like it has anything jacked up in it. Let's see if I can copy and paste and see if it makes any sense. A woman smiling from the movie Fences. Award-winning hyper-realistic details, close-up, low-angle, bokeh, detailed, studio lighting, Time magazine cover. 
All right, so this one's a little, it throws me off a little bit. I'm not looking at the chat in case anybody says anything. I'm going to look at the chat right now after I hit generate. But let's see if this allows me to generate something. Wow, you saw that? It won't let me generate that. Uh, let's see where I missed off. I'm looking at the chat real quick. Oh, I like this one. Yikes. Ah, oh, God. Let me just take a minute. Let me just take a minute. Let me see what this says. A woman smiling from the movie Fences, award-winning hyper-realistic details, close-up, low-angle, bokeh, detailed, studio lighting, Time Magazine cover. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't like none of these. What the hell? I mean, it did what I wanted it to do, but you could have fixed the teeth better, man. I mean, you're AI. And let's be real, what's that on her tongue? I, I'm not even gonna say anything, son. Because, you know, I mean, come on. Damn it. And this one right here, what the hell? Is it the same lady? And why she look like that, though? Jeez. My prompt got messed up. Let's just forget we ever did that prompt, okay? Because I, I just want to forget that ever existed. Let's go to Roll Mask Guy. I like this one right here that he said. Let's see. Fortnite Bidden Cinematic 3D Digital Art. <clears throat> Let's keep going. What? Fortnite Biden cinematic. What? You see what I'm saying? This is the problem right here. Yeah, give me one minute. Let me uh, clear my throat. Do you see that? I guess because it says Biden. Now, this is why I had this opened up right here. See this right here? This AI is going to be in direct. Well, you know what? Let, let's just keep this dolly. We'll talk about that later. Because there's some AI art generation that is open source. And you can download it to your hard drive. And it uses your CPU to generate. So you can do everything locally. And it has no restrictions. You know, so look out world. Oh my god. So Fortnite by so man, I like this one. What, uh, how about how about we say Joe? How about we say how about we say what, what's another? Let me see. Let me look at the chat real quick. All right. Oh snap! Is that Sean Mother Effing Hill? <laughs> Sean Hill, you better put some prompts in here, bro. Let's say Fortnite. Um, let's say old man. Joe, old man Joe, comma, Fortnite, old man Joe. Let's see if that does anything. Gotta be. I mean, come on now. You said Biden, but you didn't want to put Biden in there, so we put old man Joe. Let's see if it. it I know one thing about Dolly. It does not do faces because of because of their little morality, which is okay. But I believe that if you. Oh snap! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a tick. Fortnite Old Man Joe Cinematic 3D Digital Art. Now, I'm not going to front. This one came out pretty good. This one came out pretty good. I guess the AI looked at Old Man Joe as an Old Man Joe from Kentucky. That's why they made him a black dude. And then this one. Wait, wait a minute. This could be Old Man Joe too. Old Man Joe that be fishing. I see some things out there in them waters. And you got this man, Old Man Joe, that look like he has some ammunition in there. He's like that. Now, that looked like a Fortnite character, but Claymation. This one looks pretty decent. It looks like a scary Christmas robot chicken adventure. <laughs> All right. So, let me look in the comments. <laughs> now, just for the record, can you put the quotes over your... If you have a prompt... Put those quotation marks over it so I'll know it's the prompt. Because if you send me a, a message in the chat, I'm just going to think you're saying something to me. So, um, that's pretty good. Sean Hill, what's going on? If I forgot anybody else's prompts, just let me know. I'm probably going to mosey on out of here after a while just because it's been, what, over an hour? <laughs> I could be here for all... I could be here all day like Captain America. Okay, okay, uh, Roll Mask Guy, let's see what this one says. Futuristic car in Cyberpunk City 2077, with rain, very sad, wine red and neon red filter, wet floor by rain and with the glow of the car, 
a guy in a black hood leaning against the car. An oil panting of an alien planet made entirely out of cookies. I need to go back to uh, my man, uh, Uncle. Let me make sure I don't want to skip him. I'm going to make sure he's a, a part of this. Oh, Uncle, I got you. I got you right here. No, sorry about that, bro. I got to make sure. I mean, I make sure you hook, hook you up. I cannot forget you. All right, so let me just... Uh, so this is my man... What, well, did I, did I not copy that right? An oil panting of an alien planet made entirely out of cookies. I like this one right here, too, though. I'm going to put the A in the beginning and see if it makes it that does anything different. All right, this is cool. Alien planet made out of cookies. This is pretty decent. That looks like pizza on the bottom, but still cookies. That's definitely a close-up eyeball of a chocolate chip. <laughs> so we're going to go back real quick. I want to put A-N. A -N. Because I skipped something. I just want to see if that makes any difference. Let's do it. And while this is happening, I'm going to see if I can go back to Roll Mask Guy. If I skip you, I don't mean to. I'm sorry. I'm just like all over the place. Futuristic car in Cyberpunk City 2077. With rain. Very sad. Me Wine that play red and first. neon red filter. Wet floor by rain and with the glow of the car. A guy in a black hood leaning mm. against the car. That's going to be a good one. All right, so this is the one where I just, where I just, because remember, I forgot to put the A, I just put N, oil painting, but look at this, this is where I put the A, N, and, <laughs> so this, you got more of it, it just gave you some more of it, I don't even want to tell you what these chocolate chips look like, you, you figure it out yourself, I think AI is secretly trying to, to put some hidden stuff back there, so there we go again, this is pretty good though, uncle, it's pretty good, keep them coming, I apologize if I skip past you, uncle, don't mean to. Let's keep going. I would probably do a few more. While we looking, how much did we spend off so much? We got 95. We've been doing pretty decent. So, Neo Supreme. All right, I got you next. So, I'm just going to keep looking. Mine is above, Uncle. Ooh, nice. So, let's see which one this is again. That's like I remember. Futuristic car in Cyberpunk City 2077. With rain. Very sad. Wine red and neon red filter. Wet floor by rain and with the glow of the car. A guy in a black hood leaning against the car. That one looks good. That's that's pretty accurate. I'm not gonna lie to you. Let's see what else we got here. Two is Sean is Sean is let me see if Sean Hill says something first. Two stepping drunk Leroy. Um was that what if you at, if you're telling me a quote, like you see what Neo Supreme did, he has those quotes around it. If you put that there, then I could like I know exactly what your quote is. Like so because I don't know if this is Sean Hill telling me something. But I'm gonna put it in there anyway and see what we get. F it. Let's see. Uh, Fortnite cards. Did we do this one yet? Fortnite card cinematic 3D digital art. Alright, so I'm gonna see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the one selected that I did. Alright. <laughs> I don't know what the hell. <laughs> this is from Sean Hill. <laughs> I don't know where the kitty came from. Look at them feet. I don't know. It just it just gave us that. Let's go with Romas guy. Let's see. I'm gonna keep it selected so I'll know who's next. I won't because I be I, I feel bad. I'll be skipping Uncle man. You my Uncle man. I can't do that to you. Can't do that to you, Uncle. So let's see what this one is. This one is from Romas guy. And while that's rendering, I'm going to uh, look at the rest of it. Yes, Mr. Hill. Yeah, man. AI art. Phew, it's showing you because it wants you to get in. It wants you to get on board with it. Let's see what else. Oh, okay. I'm go I'm still all the way up there. Sean Hill. All right. Have a good night, Sean Hill. Thanks for coming through, bro. All right. So next is next up is Neo Supreme. All right. So let's see what my man Neo Supreme got to say. How can you slap? <laughs> in front of camera. Yes, I just, oh, how can you slap? Yo, <laughs> yo, how could you slap? I know what that's from. That's when that Indian girl slapped that Indian guy, and then he slapped the back real hard, and then he said, "How could you slap? How could you slap?" And then everybody just tumbled on his ass with the bottom of their feet. So let's see. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna give us that because it says slap. Because, you know, it's pretty pretty iffy about what it wants to do. It's trying to stay politically correct. So, 
All right, uncle, you up next? Cause I, I have this like, <laughs> yo, son, that's crazy. No lie. If you guys go on the internet and type in how could you slap the Indian woman, yo, it, I, I know that New York Supreme put Indian in there, but for some strange reason, they did not draw their faces pretty well. It's like I guess they're not really good. With, I mean. If you look at the the the, the um the African American women that I've created, they drew some faces pretty decent. You mean to tell me they couldn't draw these faces and they're slapping each other high fives. So and I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with the hands here. I mean that's pretty wonky if you ask me. But it, it went through, Mr. Neo Supreme. Uh, you are a funny ass dude. Let's see what uh let's see what uh my man Uncle got for V Dex. <laughs> a man in a bed of cotton candy digital AR alright let's see a man in a bed of cotton candy make sure I, oh digital art good thing I saw that sorry about that alright my man uncle let's see what he got if you know anybody who wants to get a prompt put together <laughs> brown sugar how come you're not putting anything up here let's see what you got up here Give me something funny. Give me something hilarious. You see, it's hard to make these prompts after a while. That's why I went in and I wrote all those things. Okay, so which one did this say? Just so I'll remember. A man in a bed of cotton candy. Digital art. Ooh, nice. That looks like a nice bed of cotton candy. I'll, I'll eat that. Well, now, what's those strings? Is it the cotton candy being made? Uh, who knows? What is it doing? Now, that, that looks like me sleeping in a bed of cotton candy. For real. That's pretty decent. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, that, that's a pretty decent one. So that's what that prompt got you. I'm sorry for hitting the mic if you heard that. All right. So let's go with Romance Guy. Let's see what you got next. I, I love that you guys are giving me the prompts. It's so easy. Bodybuilder Panda made out of colored obsidian full HD digital art. All right. Let's do this one. I'm, this is a video where I'm taking your prompts and... I'm letting you put the prompts up. Now, if you like this style of video, because I'm about to cut out of here soon. If you like this style of video, let me know. Subscribe, like, hit the notification bell. And I will make more videos like this. And I'll let you guys know when I'm going to schedule a, screen, a stream. So you can put your prompts together ahead of time. So when we do the live stream, you could just cut and paste it from your like documents or whatever. So this one is from Romas Guy. And this is, I, I'm, since I've been talking, I forgot which one this is, so I just want to hear it again. Bodybuilder Panda made out of colored obsidian full HD digital art. Damn. Nice. Nice, nice. Nice. Now that one's pretty good, yo. That one's pretty good. Mess around. I'm going to take the best ones and I'm going to post them to my Instagram. And then if you want, you can go to Instagram and share those. And I'll put your prompt in there and I'll say, if I remember who put it, I'll put your name. So let's keep moving. This one's pretty decent. That one's nice. That was a good prompt. Let me see. Let me remember which one this was. Bodybuilder Panda made out of colored obsidian full HD digital art. And the best thing about anybody looking at this stream later on is that you can cut and paste the prompts in here if you want to see what you can get out of it too. So the next up on the list is Uncle a again. Sitting in a moist tree, synth wave style. All right, this one's from Uncle. Now how I know is because I have your name selected here. Roll mask guy. It says message retracted. So I don't know if you retracted it or if it, you put something there and it told it. Um, I don't know how much how much message can be put in the chat. But um, if you want to do a part one and part two, the only thing I ask is that you put those little things over it like you guys been doing because then I'll know it's yours. And if you don't put it over it, then I'm assuming you're just talking directly to me. So let's see which one this is. A koala sitting in a moist tree. Synth wave style. Ooh, synth wave. That's nice. This one looks good. That one looks good. This one looks good too. They all look pretty decent. Just to be created in that. And if we liked any of those, we can always click make a different variation it'll give me more variations so the next up is roll mask guy let's see what he has here now i think i'm glad i like the way we're moving um brown sugar i'm waiting Body for you to put something up here out of colored obsidian full hd resolution and high quality photorealistic cinematic let me scoot this over a little bit there we go just so we won't have any red in there 
All right, cool. So let's see what this one is. I'm curious to see this one is hyper hyper builder panda. When the words are that faded, I'm having trouble seeing them. So let's see what it is. Bodybuilder panda made out of colored obsidian full HD resolution and high quality photorealistic cinematic. Nice. The you guys are giving some really good prompts. The next one up here that I have selected is going to be Mr. Neo Supreme. Small meatball jumping into the open mouth of a giant Viking that is driving a 1989 Camaro. <laughs> now why does it have this underneath here? I guess Viking has to be capital. I guess Camaro has to be I don't know why. I, I guess it does not. But I guess the, the spell checker is doing it. So this is for Neo Supreme. Uh, how I'm not going to miss you guys anymore is because I have the last person selected. And I'm not going to deselect them until I go to the next person. So I apologize if I missed anybody's in the past. I, I'm not overlooking you. I just I didn't look. So this one's from Neo Supreme. And what does this one say? Let's just do it again. Small meatball jumping into the open mouth of a giant Viking. <laughs> that is driving a 1989 Camaro. <clears throat> yo, that's bananas, yo. That's crazy. That's that one? Oh, I'm not even going to say anything about this one right here, okay? You guys use your own imagination on that one. This one looks kind of dope. I'm not going to lie. Macho Man Ready Savage. You know what I mean? <laughs> Good one, Neo Supreme. Let's see what Uncle has to say now. Here we go, Uncle. I'm, c I'm getting yours right now. A steampunk iPhone. Uh, what does that say? A steampunk iPhone. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right. Next up is brown sugar. So I'll, um, I'll try hers out. How you doing, brown sugar? Can I get an ow? A steampunk iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. All right. Well, Uncle, I'm so glad I know you. So you got to go in two minutes. I appreciate you staying here. Um, this is what your steampunk iPhone look like. <laughs> so if you guys just jump out of the chat, it's fine. That's great. Uh, I'm probably going to wrap it up in another five minutes. But um, this is the steampunk iPhone. Um, how about you guys? Your guys' next prompts. Um, make it some really good ones. And we'll save the rest of the uh, credits that we have here. We have about... Uh, about 85 credits. That's pretty decent. You got a lot of credits for $15. And we already went through a good amount. So let's see who else is next. This next up is Brown Sugar. Let's see what Brown Sugar is talking about. A sloth smoking weed sitting on a park bench. All right. Now, here's the... I'm glad you said that, Brown Sugar. Because I wonder what the AI looks at it as. Does it look at it as... Um, how AI views perfect right you're right you're right about that uncle because now you said smoking weed so let's see if the AI if it stops itself from making something like that because it's its algorithm inside of itself is saying no we're not going to put that because they have a sheet and they say what words are not allowed anything that's hate speech anything like that they won't allow those things so it's really good to see if this gives us that error again very this one brown sugar is a good one all right so uncle i'm gonna hit you up with this last one before you cut out how ai views perfection how ai views perfection all right oh snap look at this brown sugar wow i guess it does i guess it looks as weed as normal because it just and it looks this one's really awesome if any of you see any of your um prompts and you like it just send me an email michael at saltygamers.com and just tell me which prompt you want and i'll just send it to you but brown sugar that was a really good one before uncle leaves i want to make sure that he has his prompt because he said he got to cut out so i'll just put him here real quick and then we'll see after that if anybody has any more prompts you can throw it on there if, if i don't see any more prompts i'm just going to cut on out of here i may have one more prompt that i had saved here oh no they took it away from me the viola davis one Oh, God, I really wanted to see the snot and tears. I'm going to copy that. You know what? I'm not even going to play myself because I don't hope I don't. You know what? Screw it. A woman crying like Viola Davis from the movie Fences. Award-winning hyper-realistic details. Close-up. Low-angle. Bokeh. Detailed. Studio lighting. Real tears. Extra nose mucus. Time magazine cover. All right. So I'm thinking what really stopped that one was the Viola Davis. But uh, Uncle, how AI views perfection. 
This is what you got. It, this looks like it was supposed to say beautiful, but it's a beautiful lady. This is how I drew brief affection with a ginormous eye. And you're going to stick a pencil into it, into another dimension. And I guess we're just stick figures on a phone. <laughs> I, purple, check, I mean, uh, I, I, I don't know. Does that say purple? I, it tricked me. I don't even know what that one is. And there you go. This is perfection, Uncle. So if you cut out, I'm glad you were here. Thank you. Please subscribe to the channel. Tell me if you like the video. And you can come back and share it with your friends. So, Uncle, good looking out. Um, let me see. Oh, there's another one from Uncle. Um, okay, cool. Good looking out, Uncle. Talk to you later. All right, we got one more from Neo Supreme. Let's see what Neo Supreme going to tell us. Because Neo Supreme be talking about some crazy stuff. Black horse running in a desert during a thunderstorm with fire coming out of its mouth high definition with neon colors now the n i'm going to get rid of the n so it can just like no thank you so much rollmaster um let me just uh let me just sit this one right here if you guys like this type of video just hanging out doing some streams um uh, just let me know before i cut out um let me just show you this is book that's going to tell you all the prompts there is a link in the description of this stream i will study this book while you wait for your access dolly of course and you can always go to their instagram and check their information and right here mid journey i i actually have a mid journey account too and i'm going to put some credits on that and this is some of the things i created in mid journey and i think my next stream i'm going to go with mid journey because i think i'm going to buy the unlimited um, commands prompts uh, for 30 bucks a month and just see how it is and you guys just tell me how that works out and we'll try it out in mid journey look at this alien I created Ew. right shoot that's crazy that's not what I didn't create I'm sorry but this is what I put as the prompt in mid journey xenomorph hyper realistic human hybrid so mid journey you stop playing look at that I, I this one I don't even know why he gave me this one, but he gave me a couple Man of them size cockroach playing video game in a messy bedroom room <laughs> with VR headset on that's Master what I'm talking about style, HD so yeah I want to do a stream with that eventually coming up soon I'm gonna work on that it's a couple things in mid Jeremy a black super Saiyan look at that african-american Saiyan I'm here. I'm here. Ah! <laughs> let's see what uh this one has with um mr. oh this is nice Wow, nice. Look at that. So let's see what this prompt was because I was rambling, so I forgot what the prompt was. Black horse running in a desert during a thunderstorm with fire coming out of its mouth. High definition with Neo colors. That's you right there, Mr. Neo Supreme. Well, I'm about to cut out of here real quick because I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. I didn't have any dinner and it's almost in my time zone is 951. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me i don't care if it was only like five people in there that made so much of a difference i'd rather have five really good friends than a million fake friends straight up so thank you guys that was fun for all of us love you guys for that uh road mask guy uncle neo supreme sean hill and those and of course um brown sugar ew. when i say brown sugar ew, ew, ew. all right <laughs> all right so I'll talk to you guys the next time I do a video, and please share and, and like and subscribe and tell me what your feedback is. And if you want to see more videos like this, we're going to go to the next level, Mid Journey. Talk to you guys next time. Oh, yeah, before I go, don't forget, we still got some credits left. So next time I do a stream, we're going to go in again. All right. <laughs> talk to you guys later. By the way, I'm still here. I'm just looking to turn the stream button off. Oh, there we go. Ha 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 ha.